Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be covering a very important topic and that is lighting for your turtles. We're going to be talking about the different types of rays that come out of the light bulbs, what kind of bulbs you need, and ultimately what I find to be most effective in raising turtles. So stick around. The first thing that we need to cover is that turtles are reptiles. Now, the importance of this is that all reptiles do something called thermoregulation. Basically, as mammals, we maintain our own constant body temperature. However, reptiles rely on outside sources in order to raise or lower their body temperature, depending on what they need. They can raise their body temperatures in order to increase metabolism or lower it if they're going to be inactive. There are two kinds of light rays that you need to know about in order to keep your turtle or tortoise in proper health. The first is UVA light, which is a kind of ultraviolet light that I consider to be basically heat for your animal. It helps regulate behaviors such as feeding, mating, or increasing the metabolism of your animal. The second light ray that you have to worry about is UVB light, which is just as important as UVA but is a lot less well known because you can't actually feel it or see it. Now this light is essential to keeping your reptile in proper health because it helps them create vitamin D which contributes to the reptile's ability to absorb calcium. If they can't absorb calcium, they can get something called metabolic bone disease which is super serious and oftentimes fatal. You can either purchase a UVA and then a UVB light separately like I did here, or you can get an all-in-one bulb. Above the wood is a UVA light which produces all of the heat for the turtles, and on the right separately I have the UVB bulb which is producing that ultraviolet light that you can't see or feel. I recently decided to make the switch to an all-in-one bulb that has both UVA and UVB rays so that way I wouldn't have to use two different lamps and have them both running. Now when purchasing a bulb, look to see if it produces only UVA rays or only UVB rays or like this one is all-in-one. It has small diagrams that tell me the specifics of the spectrum of light that the bulb produces as well as how much UVA and UVB rays are emitted. So here you can see me opening the bulb and it looks like a regular light bulb, but it's totally essential for keeping your reptile in proper health. So next I purchased a $10 heat gun that gives me a super accurate measurement on the temperature of my turtle's basking area. Now you're going to want to place your heat lamp far enough away so the area is anywhere from 80 to 90 degrees, depending on the age and species of your turtle or tortoise. Without this temperature gun, it's really hard to tell what temperature your basking area is at. And I am lucky enough to have a large piece of driftwood that's big enough to provide a temperature gradient from 80 to 90 degrees, so the turtles can choose at what temperature they want to be at. So heating and lighting only apply for indoor turtles or tortoises. However, as you know, I absolutely love bringing my animals outside because the cheapest and most effective heat bulb that there is, is for free and it's the sun. So I highly recommend getting your turtle or tortoise outside for even just an hour or so a week to get some natural UVA and UVB rays. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up to let me know that I did a good job and make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see future videos that I do on more turtle basics and things like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.